Hi, I'm Mark, and this is Everyone Can Grill. Today we're doing a grilling challenge. Every month my family does a different food or different type of ingredient or something like that. Well, this, this month it's going to be um, California and Nevada region of the United States. So I'm going to go back to North Island Naval Air Station when I was in the Navy, and my buddy Bill and I would jump in his Datsun 280Z and head down to Chula Vista and we would get carne asada down there. Well, today I'm gonna make carne asada tacos, and I'm telling you, they're to die for. So you stick around, because this is gonna be good. Okay, welcome back to the kitchen. We're coming inside to make the marinade for this. So what I'm gonna start out with is a good bunch of just roughly chopped cilantro. Next to that, is believe it or not that's only one jalapeno but one jalapeno and I took the seeds out so it's not gonna boy that cilantro smells good so it's not gonna be too hot and then we got a half a cup of olive oil the same amount of low sodium soy sauce And we got the juice of one lime. And then the recipe calls for the juice of an orange, but instead I'm using pineapple orange juice. And trust me, it, it makes a difference. It's really good. So give that a try. And if you don't want to, go ahead and just use the uh, squeeze an orange. And we're gonna use one teaspoon, that's not gonna work, of cumin. Boom. And half of a tablespoon plus of minced garlic. This is easy, man. But boy, is it good. Give this a quick stir. Just like that. Now you can see that's not enough to coat. So we're going to do that much. Cold, now we got it. Cold water. Give this a quick stir. Get everything in there. Now this can marinate, I don't know, I would go no less than four hours, but you can do it overnight if you wanted to. And we're gonna use a flank steak for this. You could use a flank steak or a skirt steak, whatever your store carries. You know, I was looking for a skirt steak because I like them a little bit thinner but we don't have skirt steak here. So let me get this all covered in here. Just like that. Man, I'm telling you, it doesn't get any better than this. Bill and I had tooled down to Chula Vista and I forget the name of the restaurant, but it's been there forever. That uh, I would always get a carne asada and it would come with rice refried beans, the carne asada, and like three tortilla shells. And man, was it good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this in the fridge now. Eh, about every two hours, I'll give it a flip just to make sure it gets marinated all the way through. And then we're gonna take this out to the garage. So I will bring you back outside. Wait till you see this. Look at that. How about that, huh? With the cilantro, we're gonna take that, drip it just a little bit, and it's going straight on, and this is gonna be on a hot grill. There we go. I'm gonna close that up and let it go for a few minutes. We'll flip it over in a second. So I'll bring you back when it's time to do that. Okay, let's give this blank steak its first flip. See how it did not stick? hot. 
I got both sides of this grill on high right now because I'm going to sear this on both sides twice. All right, I'll bring you back in a few. Okay, you ready to flip this again? Look at how pretty that is already, though. All right, this time we're going to go over here and put it on a hot side of the grill again. Use the whole grill. In fact, that's what you got it for. Close this up and let that go for a few. This is going to be good, man. I'm telling you, you should smell this right now. Okay, let's give this another flip. This side's hot now, so let's go. Look at, you can see the char marks on there now and it's all getting sealed up. We are doing really good. As a matter of fact, I'm turning this side down a little bit because I was right about 500 degrees on there. And uh, I want to start slowing the cooking down now because that meat's about that thick and we don't want to dry it out. We're going to cook it a little bit slower now that it's sealed. All right. We've been about 10 minutes. I want to give this a flip. Give everything an even. I got this side turned down pretty far and this side all the way down to low right now. That's a thick piece of meat and it's going to take a few to cook. So I will bring you back in a couple minutes. It should be done then. All right. We've been on for a little while here. I want to take its temperature. Go to the thickest part of this meat, see what we got. I'm looking for about 150 to get a medium shot. I'm 10 degrees out, nine degrees out. <laughs> hey, I want to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel and who's watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And uh, if there's something you guys want to see, let me know and I'll try to fire it off. Throw something in the comments and let me know what you want. All right, we're back. Let's see what we got going on here. I'm gonna grab this and give it a quick flip. Oh my gosh, does that smell beautiful. I'm at about 145 and I'm telling you what, I'm gonna pull that. Check that out. That is beautiful. Now we let it rest. That's only stage one of a two stage shot here for this. And trust me, you're gonna wanna stick around and see what we do next because man, it's what makes it. All right, y'all ready to finish this one up? This is thoroughly cooled off. Exactly what you want. You do not have to burn your hands or anything like that to do this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to get out of the light since it got dark out. And we're cutting this across the grain there. The grain's going this way in this. So we're cutting it this way to give it, look, gives it a nice tender meat. Oh, that's tasty. Now we're gonna cut it thinly. Just like this. Simple to do. Especially if you let it cool off like I did. If you're trying to do this hot, it's just gonna fight you the whole way. So let it cool off. And on the gas grill, I put a skillet back on there and we're gonna throw this back on and heat it up for our tacos. I hope uh, that uh, Bill and Kathy like what I'm doing here. They're from Northern California, I think it's Northern, Middle Northern California. But Bill knows the place I was talking about. We used to go there often. Now I'm gonna cut this in half. Just rough cut it. All right. Oh, that's darn good. Let me flip the camera around and I'll show you what I do on the grill. All right, my cast iron skill is hot. Let's grab a handful of this. Throw it in there. And we're gonna cook it the rest of the way. We can do the whole thing in here. How's that sound? Get all that meat in there. And fire it up. Put my glove out the way. And while I'm doing that, we want to take the tortillas. I got small ones. I'm not into those big honking ones unless I'm going to do burritos. 
But I'm going to take two of these, set them down, and I'm going to crank that up to high. Let's get this up to high too, since we're leaving it up. It only takes a minute for the tortillas, and once the tortillas are ready, the meat will be good too. We're just kind of bringing it back up to temperature and adding a little bit more flavor to it. Look at that smoking. This is beautiful. And that place that we used to go, that's 30, almost 35 years ago. And I looked online today and it's still open. So I'll throw a picture right here of the place and, and I'm sure Bill will remember it. But uh, like I said, we used to hit that place pretty often because it was just darn good. See, I'm just lightly browning these things. We don't want to burn them. We just want to warm them up so they soften up a little bit. In the meantime, our cast iron skillet is doing what it's going to do. Well, that one was a little thick, but it's still going to be darn good. So, we get everything else gathered and we'll put this together right here in front of you. Only takes a second now. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. This one's ready. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to hold this one too. And just set it off the side. You know what? We'll set it right there. So it stays. Wow, that's still hot. It stays there. I'm gonna start out with just a little, little bit of sour cream. And they give you refried beans, but I'm not making refried beans because I just I'm not good at it, and the wife doesn't really care for it. Now we're gonna put just a little bit of shredded lettuce. And just a little bit of this Kraft's Mexican blend cheese. And now for the coupe de gras. Listen, can you hear it popping in here? Let's grab some of this steak because that is why we're here. Don't be shy. Look at that. That is awesome. Mm. Oh my gosh. That marinade makes it. You can taste that. You can taste the cilantro, the garlic, everything's in there. You can taste that pineapple. I'm telling you, try the pineapple juice in there. You know, the orange pineapple juice. It makes a difference. But these are fantastic. Go out and try them yourself. I'm telling you, you won't be sorry you did. I am Mark. This is Everyone Could Grill. Get off your butts, fire up your grills, and see what you can do. Because everyone can grill. <laughs>